Yo, it's your boy Junior Ball checking in, man. You now watching me live on Dirty Glove Bass, straight out the porch. Yes! Yeah, I'm dripping flavor. Shit. Smell so strong it woke the neighbor. And uh, last spring you were released from a uh, federal prison. Right. How long were you locked up for? Uh, 33 months. 33 months? Yeah, 33 Almost months. Three years. Almost three years. Yeah. Um, was that the longest you've ever been in prison before? That's the first time I've ever been in prison. First time. First yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. All right. And um, so right now, are you drug free? Yeah, I'm drug free right now. Can't yeah. do no drugs. How Ain't nothing wrong with drugs now. Don't get me wrong now. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with it. But I'm yeah. drug free. Yeah. I'm on papers. You know what I'm saying? I'm walking a straight line. Yeah. I'm drug free. You know what I'm saying? What type of changes have you had to make? Um, as far as just lifestyle. Or even like working with other rappers, recording, because you know, I'm sure everyone's... I had to make a lot of changes. Like, you know, certain stuff I can't do. I can't do. I, can, I can't be in certain areas no more. That people are doing things that they ain't got no business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to do nothing to jeopardize my freedom. You know what I'm saying? I'm put 100% protection around myself and around my family because if I go to jail, I'm hurting myself and I'm hurting my family. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't do anything to jeopardize anything that I have going on. If it's something that's got something that's on some weird niggas on some weird shit, I'm gonna move around. Yeah. And at the top of this year, you released your new project, uh, Batista. Right. Can you explain the title of that one? Uh, well, let me. I'm gonna go down the line for you. First, when I got out, I dropped the EP. The first day I got out, Jay got out the feds. That yeah. was four. Thing, that was uh, on the four tracks, mm -hmm. Carlton Banks. Okay. I did that while I was in the halfway house. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Then I dropped a thousand nights, really just reflecting on what I had going on while I was in prison, how I was feeling, this then the third. Mm -hmm. You know, some people ain't really like like Junior, where you at? This then the third. That shit sound good. We, we want the joint. Woo, woo, woo. So I was like, okay. And I came with the title. I like wrestling. So okay. you know, Batista, he one of he's a wrestler as well. So I know I was on I feel like I was on some strong shit in the booth. Yeah. Just on some gorilla type shit, so yeah. I named that tape Junior Bob Batista. Out now on all platforms, you go check it out. Yeah. It's riding from front to back, you know, not to my own horn and nothing, but like, yeah. nigga, they really fucking with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then some people critique the flow and be like, Junior, do do It's like, but I elevated my craft, is different now, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, it's like, nothing ever stays the same, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I used to do that little. I had I, I could go back to that, but like I give them a little I try to give them a little bit of both, but yeah. I've elevated now, so yeah. my craft different. But the Batista, that's where that come from, though. Okay, gotcha. Do you have a personal favorite song on there? Um, I got a few. I like "Pray in a Trap," and I like uh, "Motives," hmm. and I like um, "No Cap." No Cap is the single yeah. I'm pushing right now. Yeah. They fucking with that pretty heavy. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm got pushing. Video for that one. I got a video for that one. I got a video for um, I got a video for No Cap, and I got a video for uh, what's the other video I just dropped that for the other day? Uh, Come to the Dough. Yeah. Come to the I got a video for Come to the Dough. I'm damn near gonna shoot every video on that tape though. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm probably finna shoot that um motives and that bigger than the men next. It's a strip club anthem. Yeah. Be on the lookout for that as well. And it's uh, executive produced by uh, Bao Fam. Yeah, shout out to Bao, man. You know, that's my guy right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Current over there in Hong Kong and shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You work pretty closely with yeah, uh, Bao, I, too. Yes. Like, Bao's like, he he one of a kind, man. Yeah. Like, dude is, when you executive produce, like, some people get the difference between helping produce an album and executive produce an album. Like, you versus you just sending me beats and stuff like yeah. versus you working hands on with me while I'm making the beats to mm -hmm. okay that sound okay but you can make it sound like this or mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying like that's the difference between producing executive producing that's what executive producing when you actually in there with me and we yeah. putting this together piece by piece and building this shit like you know what I'm saying so a lot of people get that confused yeah that's my definition of it when you yeah. say you executive produce some shit you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Do you True. like to work hands on with producers like that? I like to work hands on because it make cause they gonna like if I if I if I'm slacking on some shit, be like, oh I'm gonna come back tomorrow. Like Bob be on my ass. No motherfucker. We're gonna drop this shit today. Because mm -hmm. when you got somebody you being you ain't got nobody on your ass sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I I be needing that sometimes. Like 
And other than that, I'll prolong and I have my little spurs where I'll be like, man, fuck that shit. Ooh, then I'll be like, I get in studio mode, but if you got somebody that'll be constantly on you and they know that you capable of doing what you're capable of doing, you they ain't gonna let you go nowhere and they're gonna put you put their foot on you. They're gonna put their foot on your back. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I be needing that sometimes. Yeah. Everybody might need it sometimes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. How many other projects do you plan on dropping this year? Man, I'm trying to drop. I'm trying to drop so many prizes. It's, it's undetermined amount. I'm about to drop the Junior Ball Bagante. That tape already ready. You know what I'm saying? One? That's the next one. And I'm gonna drop Public Enemy Number One, Volume Two, hmm. with Carlton Banks. That's on the way to like. I can't put no number on it because like I love making music, and I don't have like no set amount of music that I have now. And it's like. You know, it's, I, I, I know how to create a lot of stuff when I get in the studio, so it's, it's, no, it's, it's limitless when it comes to me. Mm -hmm. It's limitless. I'm not like one of them people that can make one or two songs or some shit. Like, I yeah. come up with that shit. I really be, <laughs> I really do that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How many songs would you say you're sitting on right now? <clears throat> Probably about a hundred something. Yeah. Probably about a hundred something songs. So you've been working. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. Are there any uh, artists or producers that you haven't worked with yet that you would like to? Um, any artists or producers? I want to fuck with nigga. I want to fuck with Metro Boomin. Yeah. Probably like 808. Scott Storch. Hmm. Um, who else? Zay told my boy. I fuck with him hard. Yeah. Um, what my boy name is? Tay Keith. Tay Keith lit right now. I fuck with Tay Keith. But that's pretty. I got a song with the little nigga, um, with the nigga Rallo Rodriguez. I fuck with him hard. Okay. Yeah, uh, the nigga uh, Al Gino had put that together. Yeah. Yeah, or oh, he got see, I, excuse me, Al Gino ain't put it together. Al Gino on the track, bro. Rollo had sent it to me. I had jumped on it. I got that in the, I got that in the, uh, in the safe, holding, holding that. <laughs> the home lit right now. Yeah. Shout out to Rollo. Which project is that one gonna be on? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to lie to you. And I'm probably gonna drop that uh free dope too. Mm. My boy Rub Band OG. I'm okay. familiar yeah. with him. Yep. That gonna probably come out this year. Um, me and Nog gonna drop something together. That my boy too. Yeah. DA, all these my folks, like I said, Alabama, we got a lot of folks that just doing their thing right now, mm -hmm. man. You know what I'm saying? But Montgomery, we really the one of the most overlooked cities yeah. to me in my eyes. Like, yeah. there's a lot of talent down there, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we just gonna keep working until somebody knows. Yeah, is there a lot of unity in Montgomery in the music scene there? Mm, no. No. I ain't gonna sugarcoat sure it, no. Okay. If, it, if, it was, if, the, if the unity was like, I'm just gonna make an example like Atlanta. We would have been took off, you know what I'm saying? But today we working on it though. Yeah. We working. We definitely working on it. Yeah. It's getting better. It's better than it was. Yeah. True. You got you. All right. Um, if you could change one thing about the streets, what would it be? Free all the real niggas, and <laughs> I'm gonna say so. <laughs> hey, look. If I could change one thing about the streets, you know what I'm saying? I free all the real niggas. And lock them snitches in the, in, in the cage so they can't get out no more, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Snitches is not condoned. Not on my end. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I got you. All right. If you could change one thing about prison, what would it be? If I could change one thing about prison, man, let them boys goddamn get cable in their rooms and shit. Goddamn be able to order goddamn food off the street. And conjugal visits, man. Let me do my time the right way. If I got to do something, give me a conjugal visit. Let me order some free world food and give me a tea with some cable. Yeah. And I'm just great. I'm going to lay back. You feel me? Because all a nigga need is a nut and something to eat. <laughs> I dig that. You feel me? All right. And if you could change one thing about the music industry, what would it be? Um, if I could change one thing about the music industry, I'll say, like, i give everybody... I make it so everybody had their fair chance, like, to be able to be on a high platform, at least to be able to get recognized. Now, if you don't get recognized while you got that time on the platform, then you out of there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because some people really be working hard at this shit and never get recognized, but some people might come out with one song and here they go, boom. But you got somebody that's just as hard, but they didn't have the time to, you know what I'm saying, they ain't had their time to shine yet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What are some of your goals for 2019? 2019, some of my goals, you know what I'm saying, is to uh, stay on the road, do some more songs, do some more, uh, much, make as much music as I can, you know what I'm saying, try to run into some, you know what I'm saying, more positive people, and um, 
just trying to get everything right for my family and just try to make, I, I just want to just make a positive influence yeah. on everybody, everybody that's around me and children included. Like I just want to just do stuff that's positive, especially for my city. Yeah. That's it. I got you. All right. Anything else you want to add? Um, I really, I ain't got really too much to add, man. Shout out to DG, my family, DG tomorrow, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Red Crest. Free the hood, God bless the dead. I ain't got nothing else to say. Uh, through a hundred years uh, a day.